What can you get for a million dollars in Toronto? What kind of real estate can a million dollars buy you? How many square feet? What are the areas? Where to look? And what are the best deals? Hello everyone, you'll see Kaplan here, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today we're gonna to look at the million dollar property of Toronto. So uh, I'm gonna start with torontocondosforsale.com. This is my new website where you can find all three types of properties, pre-construction, Okay, residential listings and assignments. It's all here. Just go to listing, residential, commercial, pre-construction, and assignment. There's a trick to find it. When you go on projects in Toronto, it'll show you everything that is new. And you can see here, most of these condos are coming on the market now. They're coming around $1,300 a foot. Not all, but most in, in the main areas along the subway, they're going to be at least $1,300 a foot, with the exception of if you ride at uh, Young and Bloor or at King West or the King West, um, you're looking at $1,500, $1,800. Yorkville, $2,000 a foot, 41 University, $2,000 a foot. Price are very, very high. And of course, the higher the dollar per foot, the less condo you get. Okay, so watch this. I'm just going to bring up the calculator. It's going to be a very interesting video. And at the end of this video, or the second half of this video, I'm going to give you a bit of a market update. I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. So stick around. So if I got a uh, million dollars, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I divide it by a thousand. Obviously, a thousand dollar foot, I get a thousand square feet. If I divide it by the thirteen hundred that I mentioned before, I get seven hundred sixty-nine, seven hundred seventy square feet. That means that you're gonna need a million dollars for seven hundred seventy square feet condo. Oh my God, uh, one million. If I spend uh, sixteen fifty, and I want to buy a fancy place, I only get six hundred square feet. Okay, so that that's what we're looking at. Remember that video I made uh, one one uh, condo, uh, one bedroom, one million. It's somewhere down here. That was uh, almost a year ago, maybe last uh, last spring. Somewhere down here, one bedroom, one million, and that was in front of uh, King West, and that's exactly what I showed you. Okay, so we're getting into that. Uh, we're getting into that thing, and what was really expensive yesterday seemed cheap today. I don't know how long this price is going to come up. But for now, they are, and that has to do with global economy and immigration and how Canada is positioning itself. It has not so much to do with the local market, in my opinion, but more and more and more with the global market. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Watch this. So this is uh, yossi.searchrealty.co. Let me show you how I get to this search, okay? So you go to yossi.searchrealty.co, which is my main site connected directly to Search Realty. I'm going to type in Toronto. And remember the end of this video, the second half of this video, I'm going to give you a market view. I'm going to blow your mind with some stuff. Okay, so that's Toronto. Now we're going to set the price. Uh, so for a million dollars, I'll take 50,000 below 50,000 over. So 950 to 1050. Hope I'm not going too fast here. 1 million 50. Enter. You can do this with me. Okay, that's great. Uh, beds, bath. I'm gonna put one bath just to skip if there's any commercial space or anything weird. Okay, and now I wanna filter for condos. There's some houses here. So you go to more, then condo apartment and condo townhouse. These are the, the main ones you wanna click. You can, you can try all these links, but that's good for now. And here we go. I remember uh, in a previous video I showed you this, this uh, condo here, and we concluded that we don't like this floor plan, but and that's why it's a thousand square feet, a million dollars. That's only a thousand a foot because the bedroom has a big pillar, and basically the the, <laughs> the living room was put where the where the master bedroom should be, and with the ma with this bedroom, that should be the, be the living room with the nice view. So watch out for these things. There's a lot of really poorly designed condos. There's tons of them. There's tons of poorly designed condos, and people don't understand what they're buying, or sometimes they're buying like they're stressed out and like they're all standing in line, all these sales events, and you know, like one uh, broker brings 10 or 20 or 30 people. Obviously, one or two of them will get good units, and the rest will get crap units. So don't do that. You know, be smart. So, somebody came to me a while back and they said, you know, I have an assignment to sell and help me sell. And I looked at his inside corner, no view, worst unit I've ever seen. So why'd you buy it? And I said, well, it was the last unit in the building. So I had to buy it. I was so stressed. Then why don't you buy in the next building? Okay. So um, let's look at a few options and, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So 300 front street, that's an Airbnb building, if I remember correctly. So $950,000 here will get you this type of unit. It's a two bed, two bath. It's it's less than 800. Uh, it's less than 900 uh, square feet. I can see here. It's got an MLS number. You can look it up yourself. You can look here on MLS. Doesn't matter. 
condo fees are 525 a month. Property tax, they rounded to 3,500, so it's about 300 a month. So three and five, 25, 825 dollars a month to carry this unit. So more or less a buck a foot, okay. Um, but the carrying cost on this unit, you can use a condo calculator. The carry, I'm not going to do it today, but the, the carrying cost is going to be enormous. Um, it's got it's got nice east view, CN Towers right there. That's a very transient building. There's a lot of people coming in and out. Okay, not not my not my favorite choice. What can I get in Liberty Village, 75 East Liberty? Close that toilet, guys. Okay, so this is a million dollar listing with the worst pictures you've ever seen. That does not represent the seller very well. Okay, and it's a small unit. It's a very high price for the foot. And you can see here, uh, the condo fees are 416. The taxes are pretty low. So this unit is, is high priced. It's a high priced unit for what you get. And it's in Liberty Village. It, to this day, I would not invest a million dollars in Liberty Village because most of the units there are less than a million and you want to be you want to find a million dollar unit where all the other units are expensive why because it makes sense to buy the cheapest unit in the most expensive area and not the most expensive unit in the cheap area don't ever do that that's a bad 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 investment okay that's 608 richmond i love this building it's really cute it doesn't have any amenities really but the building's kind of sharp uh so what do we got here uh, 893 square feet, so that's say, just about 900 square feet, and they're asking for 959, so just under a million, forty thousand dollars less than a million, and you can see here, condo fees are 601, about a uh, 601, four and eight, what do we say, 900 square feet, so that's not bad. Uh, taxes are not assessed yet, but you you can assume it's about 300 a month, so that's what they're asking. Now this unit still on the market, you may be able to offer them less, and I absolutely recommend always offering less within reason makes sense and if you want to put in a bid let me know and I can I can direct you how to do it um, there are lots and lots of options obviously uh, you can look at something like a townhome so townhome are in my opinion a great investment I showed you in, in many many videos especially when I review the market watch how these townhomes actually fare very well and i think they're very good investment you can put a family that's gorgeous and it's brand new oh you see that electrical panel right in the middle <laughs> across from your couch <laughs> oh my god Who, who's designing these things okay and there's some utility door here otherwise it looks pretty cool uh the fridge could have been built in but it's it's pretty nice it's pretty nice so a million dollar townhome no big deal these days there's lots of them but you know, get the one that works. The, the pictures look great, but you can't really tell um, from a picture unless you have a floor plan how good that thing is. And obviously, when you're going to spend a million dollars, walk into that place and see what you get. So here's an idea of the project you get. So imagine everyone here is paying about a million dollars for these boxes. Okay, uh, but that's a larger place. That's 1,285 square feet of pure luxury, and 394 of outdoor space front. Patio plus backyard plus gas barbecue. Da, 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 da. Okay, the condo fee is usually low. Let's see. Maintenance fee is 548, not the lowest, and 37. So there'll be 350 a month plus 548, about 900 a month to carry this unit. Okay, and when I say to carry it, means fixed cost, means basically how much money you need if you were to pay for this unit for cash. So that's an option. Okay, I, I want to switch to. Um, TorontoCondensForSale.com and show you this interface. If you prefer this one, uh, go here, go to menu, go to listing, go to residential search. I'll show you how I do it. So first I put Toronto. There we go. Okay, and remember at the end of this video, I'm going to show you something crazy. Okay, 950, and then let's put 1050. So that's good. Property type. I'm just going to tick the condo and listing status. I'll untick the rent and search. So it's zooming in for me. Thank you very much. I'm logged in here. If you're not logged in, it, the system may ask you to log in after you view so many units. That's fine. Come back here. Zoom in. I'm doing it one hand. Other hand's holding the microphone. Hopefully it sounds good. And you can see here, 300 Front Street. So it's got some units. They're quite expensive. This interface actually shows you how many square feet. So you can get a quick idea because you want to get the most amount of square footage for the price. Okay, that's Bisha right here, 88 Blue Jay, beautiful building. But some of the floor plans are very problematic at Bisha, so you have to walk in. Here, for example, you can see it's 999, so it's a million dollar unit, two bed, two bath, under 900 uh, square feet. 
show more okay uh, 760 maintenance so that's a little high and the property taxes are 49 so that's just over 400 a month so 400 a month you know that's almost 1200 a month just to carry this unit okay 1200 a month now imagine how much mortgage you can get for 1200 a month quite a bit so the, the and estimated mortgage here without the, the condo calculator so this unit is a five thousand dollar five thousand dollar a month unit would you like to put your 20 percent down two hundred thousand dollars and pay plus the closing costs of course and land transfer all that stuff and then and then uh and then pay another five thousand a month that's very expensive and obviously you cannot get five thousand a month for rental of a two-bedroom unit okay so that's now we have to think to ourselves like what do we do here like do we want a unit for personal use that's great do we want this unit for future use which is uh future appreciation which is great if i like the building if i believe in the building believe in the area uh, but if i'm going to go buy for cash flow this unit will not give me the cash flow now you know i'm an optimistic person by nature but if there is no cash flow i will tell you and if there is cash flow i will tell you okay i try to be impartial as i can Mind you, I'm still subjective because I live here. I love this city. I think it's the best city in the world. And it's not the most expensive city in the world to live. It's, it's far from it, but it's getting up there. Uh, but there's always going to be something more. So, you know, you got to take everything with a grain of salt, even what I say. Okay, let's look at a couple more, and then I'm going to move on and show you something that will blow your mind. So we looked at these. Um, not here. Let me show what else I can find here. That's the front street, I believe. Yeah, that's an old city place. That's one of the oldest city places, 397 front. But the, one of the reasons you want to have a real estate agent, because I can tell you that 15 years ago, 397 front street uh, had a big flood and there was a big mess there. So as a real estate agent, if you hire me to work with you, for you and with you, it's, it's together, I will tell you all the things I remember. So for example, someone who's new to industry wouldn't know that there was a flood here. And we know there was uh, some legal issues there, but I do. And I'll share that information with you. There's nothing to hide. The most important thing is my clients do the best deals they can. Another nice thing about this interface is it shows you how long this unit has been on the market. Seven days here and 102 days here for this unit. 102 days is a long time <coughs> considering the average, <coughs> excuse me, the average time for a unit in Toronto is about, <coughs> about 28 days. <coughs> okay, so what do we got here? We got a million dollar unit. It's on a 16th floor. It's not. It's not really that high. It's a nice unit, but it's been sitting on the market for a long, long time, way longer. The number one rule is why a unit would sit on the market for such a long time is because price too high. Uh, it looks like there's a construction site. I have to be in the unit, but I can see construction site right here. Now this could be from 102 days ago, so this could have been already uh, well into construction. Yeah, there's some construction here. So one side is facing construction. So, you know, m maybe that's the reason. It's, it's a really nice unit, maybe not the nicest view. So would you like to pay a million dollars for not the best views on the 16th floor where half a unit faces construction? That means noise from 7 in the morning, but you can't really avoid it in Toronto. A lot of dust, all that stuff. Condo fees are very high, 685. When the condo fees are high, that's gonna hurt your value because you know people people say okay I want to spend four thousand dollars a month and that must include my condo fees, my taxes and the mortgage. So if the condo fees are six eighty five, so that means that six hundred eighty five dollars less I have to pay for my mortgage. I'm gonna try and find the condo that gives me the most value. So the least condo fees, the least taxes. Taxes are okay, thirty five. So just under three hundred a month. That's reasonable. I don't know. I don't know about this unit. Okay, I'm. I like value, I like good value. And good value doesn't mean cheap, it just means good value. There's a video I made about it. Okay, so let's get to let's get to the to the crazy stuff here. I'm gonna show you I said I'm gonna show you some crazy stuff. Fourteen minutes in, so let's do it. Uh, twenty one Widmer, that's the cinema tower, that's the one that came after uh, Eddie John in the same block. There used to be a huge parking lot when I came to Toronto. Gorgeous building, beautiful building, very, very nice unit. This is a million dollar unit here. It's it's under 900 square feet okay doesn't say exactly how many condo fees are 753 definitely not cheap uh taxes are 37 so that's you know three something that's reasonable uh but the condo fees are high and the unit is not that large now i had a 
what I did is I went into I went into Stratus. I went to the MLS, the back end, which usually only the agency. But I want to share this with you now. And this is I just searched for 21 Whitmer. So 21 Whitmer is is this building 21 Whitmer. And look at everything that sold the 21 Whitmer so far, and that's gonna blow your mind. Shooting 2007. It just sold recently. Somebody asked me to go and look at this unit, and and we book we booked it for maybe two or three days after the. After the day called me, you know, like people are busy, you can't always go the same day, something is tenanted, all good. And this unit was on the market for three days, we didn't even get to see it. They listed it for $669 and they sold for $690 at $700,000. This unit sold for seven for seven hundred thousand dollars Now, the video about what can you get for six sixty, that's your average Toronto condo. This right here is the average Toronto condo, and this was listed at six six nine, more or less the average price, say nine thousand over. And it's a gorgeous unit. And smartly they put some large mirror and it's a gorgeous unit. And it's designed really nice. I don't know if it's a stage or not. But it, really, really nice. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's a big mirror, so it gives you more kind of spaciousness kind of thing. Maybe a seizure. <laughs> Uh, you know, you just sit here all day, all day talking to the screen. So you're gonna say some weird stuff, but nonetheless, it's a gorgeous unit. Integrated kitchen. The kitchen is in. There's room to put your couch. The kitchen doesn't ex like. This is a unit that I like. You know, I've been talking to you about. This is a good unit. So obviously, it's a good unit. If the design is good, people will pay more for it. And it's cinema tower, so it's got some of these photos not loading, but it's it's got everything you need. Okay, but that thing sold for seven hundred thousand dollars. So watch calculator. Okay. Oh yeah, it says here 585 square feet. 585 square feet. These pictures, I thought it was 700. Oh no, 585 square feet. Watch. Calculator. Okay, do it with me. Calculator. Now take the price you paid. See, 698. That's what they paid. Um, there's no closing costs, uh, like development charges, but you gotta pay land transfer tax and legal fees. The buyer, that's what they pay extra, and whatever your know, moving costs, all that stuff. Uh, but these are your main things. And now let's divide this by 585. So we're going to get the dollar per foot, 1193. So this unit sold for 1193, say $1,200 a foot. Now you remember, I showed you an assignment that I have at 488 University, and it was less than that. Brand new on the subway line on a high floor, 39th floor commercial. So it's almost like 50th floor residential with a south view, with view of the lake for less. For less, the asking on that unit was 649.5, and it was more or less the same unit, but the dollar per foot was lower, less. So what, what's a better deal? To me, a better deal is to be on the subway, ride on the subway, higher floor, better view, less dollar per foot, way better investment. Okay, but some somebody went for this because there's nothing else going on. So when you look at the Widmer units, when you look at the at the stats for the Widmer units, you can see what I mean. And and. I can show you these units. This is this is another unit. Was asking 680, 668, sold for 765, 11 days on the market. That was it. 11 days on the market. How many square feet? Uh, almost 700. Almost 700. Okay. Uh, 719, 713, so we've got 6,000 less, 1% less, 13 days on the market. 600 square feet. 634. So again, do the exercise 713000 divide by 634. Do it with me. That's how you find the dollar per foot. Never calculate the uh, <clears throat> balcony. A lot of agents these days shoving the balcony in the square footage. That is absolutely wrong. And if you go, if you meet an agent that tells you the square footage includes the balcony, do not work with that agent. That agent is trying to make a quick buck on you. Don't. 1124 foot. 1124 a foot, okay? So this is high. I'll do one more and I'll show you the condos.ca stats and you understand what's going on here. It's gonna blow your mind. Here's another unit, 1609, 16 floor, 651, so a little cheaper per foot, but it's a lower floor, so not much of a view. So for 710 in four days, D-O-M, days on market. They didn't even bother with, with pictures. <laughs> they did not even bother with pictures. Look at this presentation. Remember I told you why your assignment didn't sell? Your presentation was crappy. Well, they don't they even need to bother. They didn't even bother. They just didn't bother. Okay. 
trust me, when I, when, I, when I list for you, I do my best to present you the best I can. I mean, the presentation has to be the best. Even if I know I'm going to sell it tomorrow, I'm still going to give you the best presentation I can because that's who I am. And you got to be professional on the things you do. Okay, so this is the last one I'm going to show you. We're going to move to the last thing, and then I'm done for today. Um, so this one, 710 at 651, still over $1,000 a foot. Now, if you look at the condo.ca stats, so first of all, you can see we're at 822, higher than last time I looked. Okay, all-time high. Now, you see here it says 818, and here it says 822. So the prices are pushing up, it's pushing up, it's pushing up, it's pushing up. And, of course, these are the grays, the number of sales. So you can see less sales in the winter. You still have a chance, I think, because I think we're still going to see prices pushing up. And yes, what's going to happen now is in order to break even, you won't be able to do 2080 anymore. You're going to have to put 30% down or 40% down, but that's what we're moving into. If you're not going to buy today, someone else will because they are going so quickly, and that person will have the unit, and you don't, and then you'll have to just pay more the next time. It's just how where it's going. I don't know how far it's going to go, but for now, it seems that there's endless amount of money floating into Canada and into Toronto, and that's what's pushing the prices up. So you go to yossi.searchfield.co, you go to torontocondosforsale.com, you can go to MLS, you can ask me, you go to condos.ca, you can see all these things, okay? But you can see the trend here. You can see the trend, and this, is a, this trend is called inflation. Inflation, we're printing money like crazy. Uh, people are coming to Canada. Nobody wants to be in China anymore, obviously all that stuff now yes there's a lot of condos that say will do good if they just this page will kind of come around here's another unit at uh 900 uh, uh asking nine hundred thousand here for a unit at uh, 159 wesley that's an assignment i'm gonna have a couple of assignments coming up here so pay attention 872 square feet asking over a thousand dollar a foot okay uh three bed with parking so that's that's a good price that's a good price. It's reasonable because for 900 you can get a lot more space here. Okay, so if you want to buy this unit or want to buy anything in this building, let me know. I got some assignments here. Okay, so <clears throat> what you see is that the dollar per foot is, is rising all the time. It's rising all the time, and you can see it here. This is, this is actually measuring the dollar per foot. Sadly, uh, MLS.ca doesn't do it, but condos.ca does, so we'll use that. Now, condos.ca, the, the numbers come and go. They're a little wonky. There's a lot of, you know, the site goes down and up. But nonetheless, even if it's not 100% accurate, it's still enough to show you the trend. And that's the trend. And remember, we had, look at this up here, 2016, 2017, went up like crazy. It really jumped up. And then you go, oh, my God, that was $700 a foot then. And now I'm at 8 something. So I already increased by $120 a foot in the last three years. Okay, here's the peak of 2018 at 759. Here's the peak of 2019, 792. And I'm already 20 bucks a foot more, or maybe $24 a foot if I look at this number. Okay, so what to do? Um, what you gotta do is you gotta start looking to buy assignments. Uh, I'll show you a couple ways to do it. Assignments are still affordable. You can still find assignment at yesterday's price. Uh, the way to find assignment, go to the menu, Go to listing, go to residential search, okay, put Toronto. Now, it's not going to show you all of them. It's going to show you some of them because most assignments are not listed, but it's it's just a good start. And in a keyword, put assignment. Assignment. There you go. Okay, and then search, and you'll see what's available in the system for assignments. And you usually, have, usually you'll find you know, anywhere from 50 to 70 assignments at a time, sometimes more. Um, 200 dundas, there's a lot of units listed. These are all assignments, so a lot of them won't have listing uh, pictures yet. But that, to me, could be a really, really good building. It's right at Ryerson. It's right at Ryerson. It's like the new Ryerson, Res, Ryerson residence, okay? So you can see here, 489, I mean, that's you can still get a studio for half a million. And the reason... People buy studio, even if it's so tiny, it's probably 300 square feet. So that means that the price per foot is about 1,500 here. Okay, I don't. But the, look at the maintenance. It's 193. It's 193. So these are these are the ones to buy. These are the ones to buy. And you can see they put in the market at 459, and then they raise the price on this. They raise the price, and you know what? They'll get that. They'll get that. So 200 dundas, in my opinion, a very good option here. 
very good option. Yes, you'll pay high dollar per foot, but overall, your price can be lower. Okay, so these are all assignments. Now, assignment needs a bit of money down, all kinds of stuff, but you can still find stuff that makes sense. Here's a nice wide unit kitchen at the back at King Blue, asking 630. Now, it's been on the market for a long time. Some of these assignments, assignment sale is facing. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Okay, uh, they didn't, did they report condo fees? No, they did not. Okay, but there's options. You have options. You can still buy in town and still make it work for you. Okay, so that's all for today, my friends. What can you buy for a million bucks? You can buy 700 square feet, 800 square feet, 1,000 square feet if you're lucky. I think if you're going to go maybe towards uh, the new buildings at Fort York, maybe you got to have a bit, a bit more luck. It's older already. Okay, they may not show, but I do have access to them. So if you're interested, let me know and, and I'll help you, okay? But there's some options. There's some options and a million. There's there's not much options, 500,000, maybe a studio, maybe, maybe, maybe a studio. But you're really looking at, you know, you're looking at 1,200 a foot now in the city. Look at this. It's 800 square feet, a million bucks. So if you're in the market to invest, invest now. Give me a shout. If you want to spend a million bucks, you have more options. You can get a nice townhome. I think that's a great option. If you can find one or maybe a little penthouse, that's a great option. Don't buy the lower floor. Don't buy the large unit on the lower floor with no view. If you spend a million bucks, you buy the best you can. If you spend half a million, also buy the best you can. Always buy the best you can. Get some good advice. Give me a shout. Yossi Kaplan. That's it.